hey what's going on guys welcome back to the brand new video into my channel repack so guys here today in this video i'm going to show you the best setting for amd radium software how can you do the best setting for getting the best fps and the best performance for your amd radeon gpus so guys by using these simple settings you can easily boost up your 100 to 150 fps in your game so guys make sure to guys watch this video till the end and and this simple setting can easily increase your 100 to 200 fps in your game so so guys here uh, AMD Radeon reset my all of the settings so here is the welcome to the new AMD Radeon experience so just you need to fold out my the simple settings so first of all click here on to the quick setups and now from here you need to select out the game which you play on your PCs if you play offline games so just go with this uh, settings or just if you play the online games like Fortnite, CSGO, Call of Duty and other games like that so just click here on the eSport because I am probably play the online game so i just go with the esports and just click here on the continue button guys setting for the all of the offline and uh, online games is uh, completely uh, same so just you not need to any worries so just first of all you need to check here for the check for the updates button and it will update your driver onto the latest version automatically if you don't have the latest driver on your pc so just after doing it now you need to open the setting tabs and from here now you need to follow out my all of the setting which i'm going to show you now here so first of all go into the graphics tabs and from here first of all if you play online games so just you need to turn on the setting but if you don't play online games you just play offline games on your pc so just turn off these options if you want to reduce the temperature of your gpu if you have a bad gpu in your pc and it will get heat up so just turn on these options but if you have a good uh, gpu on your pc so just turn off it because i also recommend you to disable all these options because it will be uh, increase your fps around uh, 20, 10 to 20 fps in your game so just disable all these options so here is the radio and boost so it is the most important factor which can easily boost up your fps so just enable out these options and set it on to the 60 to 70 percent or you can also set it on to the 50 percent but it will reduce your game's quality so just set it on to the 70 or 60 percent so i just set it on to the 66 percent so just after just using it now you need to go for the radeon image sharpening so just turn on this option and set the sharpness on to the 80 percent it will give you the sharp image in your game and the good quality games in your game so now here is the radeon enhancing if you are uh, getting the stutters in your games so just turn on these options but i will not recommend you to use this option because it will limit down your fps according to your monitor has. so just disable all these options so now here is the vertical refresh rate so just set it on to the always off now just click here on the advanced button and just follow out all of the settings from here so here is the anti aliasing so just open up these options from here and just set it on to the enhanced application settings now here is the multi sampling so just open up this and just set it onto the multi sampling don't change out this setting from here here is the morphological anti aliasing so just you need to turn off these options from here the next here is the filtering which is the anisotropic uh, filtering so just you need to also uh, enable out these options from here just you need to enable out these options from here now just set it on to the uh, ATX next go for the texture filtering quality set it on to the performance for getting the best performance in your game now guys here is the uh, next option which is the surface optimization and turn on these options next here is the tessellation mode also set it on to the overhead application and set it on to the ATX from here next guys here is the OpenGL buffering so just disable out its options here is the 10-bit pixel format also disable all these options they can this can also increase your 10 to 15 fps in your game next here gpu workload and just set it on to the graphics and here is the reset shutter cache so just perform reset after every week on your pc because it is really help out you to clearing out the previous cache on your pc so just perform the reset for the uh, shutter cache just after one week so just guys here is the most important setting which i am already show you here which is the improved texture quality or you clear it out your uh, quality of your game but if you want to disable all these options so you can also do this because it is also help out you to uh, improving your fps around it will uh, give you the 10 to 15 fps in your game if you just disable all these options so i also recommend you to just turn it off for getting the best experience in your game but if you want a good texture in your game or clear image so just turn it on so i just recommend you to disable all these options next guys go for the display sections 
From the display section, so guys, first of all, here is the super virtual resolution. Just disable all this option, no turn it on. Next, here is the GPU scaling mode. Just you need to disable all these options. Scaling mode, just set it on the full screen. Integer scaling, just also don't use all these options from here. Next, guys, here is my display specs. You can also check it out. I have the 60 Hz monitor in my on my PC, so just you will see here. Here is the refresh rate. Just after doing all this setting, now you need to go for the journal tab. And just follow out my this setting. So first of all, uh, just disable out the instant replay on your PC because it is also increase your 50 to 60 FPS on your game. If you don't use these options, it is really help out you to boosting up your FPS. Next, guys, here is the record uh, desktop. So just also disable out these options from here. It is also increase your 10 to 20 FPS in your game. Here is the show indicator. Disable out these options and just here is the recording setting. So just leave it out. Next guys scroll down and here is the preferences tab so just also you can disable out all of these options from here because I am recording my gameplay so just therefore I am using these options it is also in case you tend to uh, 15 fps in your game so just I will recommend you to just disable out all of these options from here so just after doing out it now you need to go for the performance tab and just go for the tuning sections so guys from here you need to click here on the I accept the term and condition so guys if you don't have the performance tab here so just you need to uh, watch this video till the end and I'm going to show you how can you uh, get the backup of this tab so just you need to go for the tuning tab and just select out the game which you play here so just click here on the add game profile and just add out your game here into these options and just set the auto tuning onto the overclock GPU and it will 100% help out you also in getting the best performance of your GPU if you are getting the low GPU usage in your PC so just turn on these options and it is really help out you to fixing out your problem so just if you have done the performance tab on your PC so just you need to uh, go here onto this step just download the MSI afterburner and just open up these options so guys here is the MSI afterburner interface so first of all I'm going to clear out you I have the already factory uh, ready overclock uh, GPU version which is the RX 560 it is already overclocked on my PC you will see here I have the 1650 MHz and guys you need to just follow out my this setting so just first of all you need to uh, increase your power limit uh, in add the value of 2 or 4 one by one just test out your game again and again and get the best uh, power limit for you for your GPU you can also google it out onto the uh, your browser and just find out the best setting for your graphics card from the internet so just you need to set out the power limit according to your GPU uh, just add out the uh, 2 plus 2 and just increase the value simultaneously so just to, uh, where it will give you the best result to so just uh, save out your settings so here is the uh, limit of your temperature so just set it onto the maximum one now here is the core clock just set it onto the uh, 1295 or you can also increase and just increase the value of 20 into this uh, value and you where you get the stable performance on your PC so just you can save out your setting next guys here is the memory clock so just set your memory clock onto 1750 and don't increase from this limit because I have already factory ready uh, GPU so just it is already set it onto this 1750 and next guys here is the fan speed so if your GPU is got heat up so just you need to increase out the uh, frame rate percentage by uh, sliding out these options from here and and you can also set it onto the auto and it will automatically increase the speed of your GPU if your increase if your temperature of your GPU increase so just after doing the resetting you need to now you need to close out the MSI after burner. Next guys you need to download this pack I will give you the link of this pack into the descriptions so just go there and just subscribe to my channel and you will get this boost pack from the boost.in website so just after downloading it you need to just uh, right click here and just extract it on your desktop here is the folder of the AMD region best gaming settings so just open up this folder and go for the registry optimization and from here you need to run out all of these files one by one on your PC uh, so I am recommending you to just uh, open up this file which is the low med optimization if you have a low to med uh, and your PC so just uh, use this file but if you have the med to high end PC so just turn out this file because you have a low end PC so I just Delete out this file from here and just run all of these files from here which is the low med optimization one by one on your PC just after doing out it now you need to close out it. Next guys now you need to go for the directory of your game in which game you want to boost up your FPS. So just I want to boost up my FPS in Fortnite 
or if you want to uh, increase your FPS in CSGO so I'm just uh, showing you how can you increase your FPS in CSGO so just go for the uh, steam library go into the steam app common and here is the uh, counter strike global offensive just open up these options now here is the exe file or the launch file of the cs code so just right click here go into the properties of these files go for the compatibility and from here just you need to click here onto the disable full screen optimization option just go into the change uh, high dpi settings and just set it onto the override high dpi and set it onto the performance and just click ok and apply out the setting and just click ok again and now you will get the best performance of your pc if you are using the AMD GPU on your PC so guys I hope so this video is really helped out you also tell me in the comment section and make sure to like this video and also share with your friends therefore they can also boost up the FPS on their PC and get the best experience of the games on your own PCs so guys till the next video Allah Hafiz and bye bye